Hello everyone. Welcome to Fiora. So, what are we reviewing today? We're going to review this little thing. The RDF slash, slash LT. Now, I'm going to go ahead and go over military service for you. It never saw service. It was developed as an attempt to replace the Sheridan and it was decided that the Sheridan was still better. End of discussion. That's the military history. That's it. Really, I don't have much else to say on it. So let's just start with the comparisons. We have the RDF. There are many tier 6 light tanks, by the way. Seems to be light tank heaven. We have the expeditionary tank. I do believe there is a stingray, a skank ray. And I know people are going to look at me and go, are you seriously? I said, well, that's what I've heard everybody else call it. So that's what I'm calling it. The skank ray. And the VFM Mark V. Now, the advantage to the RDF that no one is going to ever take away from you. Rate of fire. Boom, 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 boom. That's all you're ever going to hear out of this tank. It fires con almost continuously. 2.63 seconds to be exact. With a, point not, with a .09 accuracy. So it's really accurate, really high rate of fire, and very, very good sustained damage. Problem. You'll run out of shells. Trust me. I do it all the time. Let's start with the expeditionary tank. The one that you can't get anymore, but when they do show up, you have to know what they're capable of. So, higher penetration than the expeditionary tank. Check. Even with the... Not with the uh, HVAP, but with the Sabo. Oh yeah, you get the choice of HVAP or Sabo for your armor-piercing ammunition. The HVAP doing slightly more damage but less penetration. Very useful for PvE, whereas the Sabo is useful for PvP. So, better pen, lower alpha, significantly higher DPM. Same hit point pool. Uh, armor! What armor? Only the VFM has armor. Don't expect to stop shells. Just, just, just don't. It's not going to happen. Speed-wise, Expeditionary Tank will outrun you, but you have better camouflage. Expeditionary Tank has slightly longer view range, so it comes down to are you sitting still or is he sitting still? We'll determine who spots who first. Same gun depression off the front. Expeditionary Tank has better gun depression off the rear. You have a snappier turret. And I will admit, you also have a better hull traverse. Rate of fire, you win. Accuracy, Expeditionary Tank. Aim time, you win. This tank is very lethal if it can find a target and just be able to sit there and fire shell after shell after shell and the target be either unable to fight back or distracted at the moment when you begin the engagement. VFM Mark V. You have better pen. Better sustained damage. Less hit points. You're not going to win the armor race. Um, you're also not going to win the speed race, oddly enough. VFM will outrun you. You will outspot the VFM most of the time because you have slightly better camouflage rating. Turret Traverse. Um, well, the VFM's turret is definitely snappier than yours. But he ain't going to touch that reload time or that accuracy or that aim time. Period. You have the firepower. You just have to make sure you can sustain your fire on a target. You're going to see some examples of this in the live stream. I'm going to rip apart a few tanks literally limb from limb as I just pump out shell after shell. Yes, I'm using a live stream highlight for this one. And lastly, the Skank Ray. Better pen? Definitely better pen. Why don't they improve the Stingray's penetration? All the premium tanks have better pen than they do. Higher DPM? Definitely. Hit points? Eh, they got 40 more. And eh, so what? Armor? What armor? Seriously. On either tank. Speed-wise, Stingray's a little quicker. Has slightly longer view range, but you have a slightly better camouflage rating. And actually, if you wanted to equip, say... Sabrina, you might have a better camouflage rating than all these light tanks. You have better gun depression off the front, rear sides, wherever. Stingray's gun depression sucks for a light tank. You have a snappier turret. Definitely quicker reload. More accurate gun. And an aim time that would, well, nobody's going to beat you on the aim time. That, that's just ridiculous. 1.67. That's obscene. So, now that you know that this thing's sole purpose is to basically be a chain gun of death... Let's take a look at how you equip it. I prefer Freya so that I can get that extra rate of fire off. 
You could also equip Sabrina if you prefer to sit back and snipe only and solely be able to snipe because then you can use an enhanced camouflage rating to keep yourself alive. Crew wise, I highly, highly recommend Smooth Ride and Quick Draw to decrease your aim time further and to make it where you don't get as big a balloon when you're driving. Then get off road driving and shoot from the hip so you can just fire off. Or since the well, actually, now the gunner doesn't get loader skills, sadly. So you couldn't get the rapid fire. Teased ya. Ammunition load. Load Sabo for PvP. So this goes from 27 to 0. Load this for PvE. Nothing special about the consumables. Retrofits. Enhanced shell materials. You want to shoot on the move. You want to reload quicker. Thermal sleeve. You want to reload quicker. Just flat out. And the intercom system to make your crew a bit more functional to compensate for the weaknesses of the turret traverse and to further increase your aim time so that you're exposed a lot less uh, for a lot less than any than anyone else. Uh, weak points. Okay, you see these two hatches on the front? They're straight up critical hits. Um, this whole sector back here is a critical hit. Um, the turret ring's a critical hit. Don't get shot. Let's just put it that way. Do not get shot. Okay. I'm not even going to beat around the bush about it. Just don't get shot. There. I said it. Just don't. 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 Now, how does this thing compare to an MBT? Well, let's take a look at the most devastating of the MBTs. I do not want to look at the Palmar, please. I would like to look at my RDF. So, against the T-72A, you to have the penetration to hurt him you really do have the penetration to hurt him you're just barely faster than him at top speed but you will accelerate a lot quicker you'll outspot him all day long and you have the depression and you're a lot more snappy on the turret now how about against a leopard 2 av supposedly one of the champions of tier 6 your penetration is sufficient to pin his to pin his boilerplate his middle plate on the front of his hull in addition to this you have higher DPM, just flat out. And you're better camouflaged, flat out. And longer view range, better gun depression, and you're much more snappy, whippy, and all those other things than he is. Basically, you beat him in every category down here, including whole traverse. Take advantage of your speed, seriously. It'll keep you alive. I disconnected from the server. What is going on? Excuse me? That was weird. One moment, please. Hashtag realistic armor. Hashtag cup of noodles. Hashtag realistic armor. Eight millimeters stops British <laughs> L7 gun. <laughs> hey, yeah. If you're allowed to do that with a noodle box. <laughs> oh, so that's the name now? I'm um, going back to the. Um... I just realized something. Oh, what's that? There's something else that is exactly eight millimeters of metal. Go on then. The thickness of the sides of the British tea kettle that goes in a Challenger. <laughs> really? You've got the armor of a boom boiling metal. <laughs> so, awesome. apparently, you don't need. You know, composite armor, it's super thick and all that. No, you need a tea kettle to act as your armor plating. And it will stop the British L and it will stop the British guns cold because they won't want to hurt a tea kettle. So basically you're saying you have sixteen millimeters of armor, not eight. What? Pierce. No no, if you use a tea kettle against a British gun, you have infinite amounts of oh, armor. Yeah. Nope, it's a symbol of Britishness. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Dark Dragon. I don't necessarily like the daily login system. They should give me more. They should give rock? me like missions and stuff. Give me more motivation than just logging in to get rewarded. Give me motivation to play. Give me motivation to get better. Not like war gaming's missions, no. I mean like you right, know I'm gonna be ballsy. A slow inclination. Get a PvP kill and a thousand damage. Any tier. Mm -hmm. 
Get two kills. There's nothing for 1500 damage. Nothing. And it just keeps ramping up very slowly. And then, you know, have stuff oh. over the course of any number of Four battles. Weapons. Um. Hi, guys! <laughs> Did you just wave at the Bradley? You see anything else? Nope. <laughs> oh, oh. Go through the riverbed. Oh, get down, get down, get down! I am doing... Get uh, down, get down, get Sabrina. down! He's not running Sabrina, he's not lost me yet! <laughs> okay. Are you out spotting him altogether? Yeah, he hasn't spotted me. Oh, Does he have the wrong Sabrina. commander or something? Yeah, he's not got Sabrina fitted, uh, equipped. Wow. <laughs> no comment. Was, All I awesome. know is, is we own the field. And they are somehow losing the refinery despite the fact that we own the field. Can we yep. all giggle now? <laughs> oh my god. Well, that Bradley ran like a bitch. Surely that artillery realizes what's about to happen. You mean that artillery? Yeah. The one that's dead now. Hi, Leopard Two Ice. How are you? There's still, a, I think, a typhoon up on the um, the hill behind their spawn. Hey, MBT-70. Bye, MBT-70. Nice. <laughs> Thanks. I needed that. Um, I don't think he knew what was going on. <laughs> he doesn't realize it has 2.8 reload. Bye, Bradley. I feel dirty. I just destroyed a bagel. Like, ruined it from long range. So close. Playing with your food, Do I or don't I have the HP? Yeah, apparently I do. <laughs> you just watching me yeah. go to town on folks? We're coming, Geek Lab. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> I, nothing much is happening. You can get honest. him to turn aside or get out from in front of him. We could shoot him. Yeah. He's tracked. Back up, back up, back up. Yeah, yeah. And I'm. Tra nice. There we go. <laughs> That poor ABT-70 pulls up, bang, ow, bang, ow, bang, ow, what the hell's going on? <laughs> you railing away into his ass, me hitting his side. <laughs> I think even I got a shot into him once. Through the everything in the way. I just cannot believe how undefended the field was. Oh, and the fact that I outspotted the fellow Bradley. <laughs> yeah, maybe he was stuck on everything. No, he was driving around. I think wondering what the hell spotted him. No, I meant stuck, <laughs> as in not upgraded. Uh, like, maybe... Uh, could be, I suppose. 
or skill commander or something. I'm not really sure how you get to the Bradley and not have uh, the commander being on all five skills by like the third yeah, rank. It's, uh, oh, it's a, bit of a, a bit of a weird one, that. We yeah. thought my adventure was funny. Geek Lab's over here wrecking house. Yeah. <laughs> Geek Lab was just like, hello, your ass is mine. <laughs> Yeah, that's like I'm nom 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 nom. One of these days, I'm not gonna have roommates. I promise. And when I do, we're gonna hold a party, like seriously, as we're joining a PVE mission as I speak right now. So, for those who don't know, this is on heart. And I hope you did enjoy the live stream footage of dealing 3,000 damage and getting several kills and wrecking that M2 Bradley to pieces. It's what the RDF excels at. Pumping out raw damage. Just bang, 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 bang. You will just run out of ammunition. Like, if your team sucks, you'll just run out of bullets. Let's be honest here. I'm not even going to, you know, kid you about it. You will just run out and there's nothing you can do. And you'll run out before you even realize you've started running out of ammunition until you look down and go, Oh, I'm out of bullets. Whoops. My bad. Now I've got my hair swept back today. It rained and my hair is a mess. So, ponied it up, swept it back. Sorry about that, guys. Apparently something just hit me. I'm really worried about missing a single shot. Unless it's like shot the difference between life and death. As you guys can clearly see me just pumping out rounds here. And artillery has a... Ugh, fuck off, Paladin. Oh my god, Paladin, pick another target. Yeah, this thing not having smoke grenades, by the way, is one of the detriments. Um, it really sucks that it doesn't have smoke. It needs it bad. Or you're just gonna get sit there. I, I wish I had smoke. That artillery wouldn't fire nearly as much at me. It's done wrecked my day. As soon as I get spotted, I'm under artillery fire. Thank you. As you can clearly see also, no freaking armor. Oh, and gun elevation is pretty shitty on this isolating turret. Fair warning. Now, I'm not using my repair kit right now. Why? Because I'm going to run out of bullets. That is one big disadvantage. If you use your repair kit early, you will easily burn through all of your ammunition with this, with this tank, particularly with this build of just raw rate of fire, which sucks. But that's the truth. And because of the raw rate of fire, you actually need it. Empire and HE will fuck me up. As you can see, you're just getting in little cheeky, cheeky, cheeky shots. And there's nothing they can really do about it except for take them. 
but you really got to stay away from the enemy for the most part. There are times when it's time to go in, but that is very rare, particularly in this tank. I don't know what's blocking my shot. Oh, shit. Okay, just be calm. By a millimeter. I must have missed him again. Shit. Gun? There we go. As you can see, the Centauro is out DPMing me, but the Star is a tank destroyer. My light tank. Doing an excellent job, however, of providing my team with plenty of sniper support. And the Star is just not super far ahead of me, neither is the other tank that's beating me. The important thing to hear to remember though is that I don't have a lot any armor at all. But I can swipe kills. Kit since we were almost out of ammo anyway. That's fine, I got this. Where he has his attention purely focused on me, which is very annoying. I need him to turn. Just, there it is. And just pump rounds. You had an advantage on me. I have closed most of that gap. Very quickly, might I add. It's just poom poom. As you can hear it. Poom 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 poom. You don't really need to switch shells quickly because you're gonna fire off another shot and then you can just switch then. And you don't really care about one individual shell. You don't! Not when I can fire this quick! Why would I care about losing one shell? No, I care when like four or five or two or three just don't do anything because by then the enemy's reloaded. I've been a little quicker on the draw. said it's just it's a machine gun it is a freaking machine gun it's an awesome machine gun but it is a freaking machine gun you care not for one round you care not for up to three rounds you just know at the end of the day you're gonna kill steel like a pro kill steel like a boss because that's the name of the video um, is it worth getting yeah Let's be honest, it's one of two light tanks, in my opinion, that are really worth their salt at tier 6. The RDF and the, uh, the VFM Mark V. They're both worth their salt at tier 6. The other light tanks, not so much so.
Just tie it back. Most kills on the team. Oh, snap. I might be losing that title. Yeah. That thing just wrecks that Centauro. Okay, we'll tie with Centauro for kills. But I believe we have uh, eked our way above the Centauro for damage. Raw uncut damage. Let's see if we can get up one more shot. Boy, this is over. I don't think we will. I think uh, the enemy, the remaining enemy is too far away. And I say enemy singular. I'm guessing he's one guy. Oh, well. Yeah, that is the other thing you notice. My MRX damage, and I've already used my repair kit. This tank breaks. It's like the Chieftain or the Challenger. Every time you get hit, something broke. The crew stays alive, which is good. That's that, that's a good way to compensate for the just everything is going to break constantly. So, there you have it. you find this review helpful did you find you liked it let me know what you liked about it let me know what you didn't like about it let me know how to make it better in the comments below also hit the thumbs up button that like button whatever you want to call it the button that means that you enjoyed the video and you wish to tell others that you enjoyed the video anonymously that button please actually we might have uh we we eked out most damage, but we did not get most XP. We eked it out. If you'd like to see more stuff by Fiora, subscribe. If you'd like to support the channel, you can do so through the Patreon page, please. Pretty please. I'm so close to making this a full-time job. But that's up to you guys. And, or you can click on an ad at the end of the video. Lastly, here's the previous Armored Warfare video. It's on the Skank Ray! The skankiest tank in Armored Warfare. My goodness. Cover your shame with some armor. But that's about it, guys. And I hope you did enjoy. But I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye, everybody. We're getting bum rush. Yep. I like how he can just auto aim when he's penetrating and I have to actually manually aim my shot at point blank range. Yeah. How is he penetrating? He's penetrating for 80 for every time he does it.